Mamma Mia. Was Anya bothering you? No. She was just waiting for her boss to arrive. Who, little old me? I'm flattered. Love the jeans, by the way. Actually, yeah, I was just commenting on them. I thought they looked like, yeah, they really highlight your cellulite. <laughs> Anya was too busy nerding out to notice. <laughs> Very funny, truly. See, Anya gives much better compliments than you do. They might be a bit tight. Anya, don't listen to her. Anya, we're going. Let's go. Maybe you could continue reading for us? At which point is the tennis ball pulled towards the blowing... Um, pulled into the blowing ball. Come on, Anya, clap it out. You've only read the chapter ten times. Hey, just let her finish, okay? With her dyslexia, we'll be here until Labor Day. Enough. The tennis ball gets pulled into the bowling ball's gravity. Your lab will show the results of this experiment. Partner up. Hey, Anya, do you want to excuse me? <laughs> We're always partners. What? Everyone already knows you're dyslexic. Don't be so touchy. You're right, Holly J. Sorry. But we have our science project, and I thought you said you needed an A this time. Oh, Anya, you give me so little credit. My sister's old lab. For another A+, plus, all we have to do is retype, reuse, recycle. You mean cheat? Holly J, I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, if Mr. Vince is too lazy to put the effort into changing the project, then why should we put the effort into doing it? Because it's not that hard. And what if we get caught? We won't. Look, I'm just trying to get an A for once. Yeah, but I'm not a cheater. Don't get all excited. I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's fine with me. And don't make fun of me in class. I don't tell people that your parents got you a private tutor. Hey, Rochelle, you want to have lunch? OK, I'll do it. See? You're not that dumb. If you did your lab correctly, hey, I really you should have found nice. that gravity <laughs> diminished the further the tennis ball got from the bowling ball. Mr. Bentz? Yes, Miss Sinclair? That assignment Anya just handed in, it's plagiarized. That's a serious accusation. Right. That's why, even though we're partners, I went ahead and did my own. Is this true, Ms. McPherson? Uh, no, um, uh, Holly J was the one. She's right. It's my fault. Somehow she got her hands on my sister Heather's old project, but I never thought she'd hand it in. Can you come see me, please? At least now you'll have your independence from the evil Holly J. The evil Holly J. Untrue, but it has a nice ring to it. Hey, Anya, Adam's friend Sav's birthday bash tonight. You wanna come? Sounds great. Can we go together? Of course. Later. Are you crazy? Come on, I mean, you need to break free of her. So I'm free to be alone, like you, on a Friday night. I'd rather take a zero on my assignment. The answer, tutoring works. 
85. I'm so crammed for this. Amazing. And please, 86%. Do not be afraid to get Holy J, how did you do? These equations are the basis for advanced level calculus. Anya, for my sake, so could you, you at least try to stop now, being so boring? Just going to fall Let's figure out what we're going to do tonight. Oh, um, didn't I tell you, uh, Sav and I are going out. Lucas is taking Isabella and me for pizza. We could so double. We could double. Ugh, greasy food and greasy company. Try to aim up, girls. Although, considering the boys in question, you're doing the best you can. Somebody's single and bitter. Somebody's baby daddy's a Neanderthal. Holly J, you can come too. Just because you're single, it won't be weird. <laughs> Got better things to do, thanks. Like what? A big solitaire tournament? Oh, Mia, when do you shoot your pilot for the Not Funny Network? <laughs> Never forget I'm a genius, Anya. Wow. Sure looks like that tutoring paid off. You're like the Toby of our class. <laughs> Anya, do you realize how dumb some of the things you say are? Sorry, you're nothing like Toby. He's disgusting. No, oh, Anya. He's not disgusting. He's geek chic. He might be rich one day like Bill Gates. OK, so we like him now try to keep up on you, we might like him, yes. OK. OK, you don't seriously expect me to boil water for everyone after you haul it from the well. Uh, newsflash, Anya, we're not in Africa or wherever. Boiling clean water is a waste of time. I'm trying to raise awareness of conditions in other countries. Spare me. This is an ego trip, plain and simple. And trust me, no one likes an attention whore. Why can't you be supportive? Sav ran the Freedom Fast last year, and he taught me everything he knows. Couldn't have taken long. Holly J just being Holly J? I, I swear, if she got to know you better, she... I got it. How is my big, strong boyfriend at lifting buckets? Oh, no. No way. How are my water boilers? Keeping up with demand. Your boyfriend sure is helpful. See, I told you you'd like Sav once you got to know him. Oh, I got to know him all right. <laughs> Isn't he sweet and honest and good? Yeah, he's a real catch and uh, full of surprises. What do you mean? Nothing. You're in love. Lucky you. Oh, don't be upset, Holly J. Maybe you're just a late bloomer. I'm sure you'll find someone someday, and you'll be able to bring him to my and Sav's wedding. Or maybe we can all go to his. OK, I didn't want to get into the middle of this, but my new friend Sav and I exchanged secrets. So is it bad? I mean, you know me. Right? Secrets go in the vault, but I am your loyal friend. And I could make an exception. Yeah, just this once. Please? You sure? I am so sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news about Sav, but... No, you did me a favor. You're a true friend, Holly J, and I'm sorry I ever let Sav come between us. Hug it out, sweetie. It's better you find out now than later. I, I am such a mess. <laughs> Must be the hunger. Girl, I'd eat roadkill right now. <laughs> um, even better. Double chocolate chip. It's not like the poor kids in Timbuktu will ever know. No. Oh. Ah. Mm. Mm. Only one way to say it. I'm a dirty liar. Yeah. I'm a dirty liar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a dirty liar. Yeah. This is like chocolate heaven. You want some? I'm a liar. You're lost. Yeah. Business, we have an update from our clean water team. 
It's the Cookie Monster. <laughs> Holy gee, hungry. You did this? You had a camera in there? Settle down! <sighs> you have one chance to apologize to me in front of the entire school for your little stunt. I can't. Nice loyalty on you, Anya. After everything I've done for you? You almost broke me and Sav up. Why would you do that? Almost? That's a shame. On the other hand, you made me look like I don't care about poor charity cases. You... you don't! <laughs> Whatever happened, you had it coming. Listen very carefully, Anya. You do not want Holly J. St. Clair as an enemy. Well, she certainly hasn't been a friend. Bring it. Um, do that, do that. Pizza! Pizza! <laughs> Sam, what do I do? I don't know. This didn't happen last year. All spare in love and war, Anya. Slice? Anya, what's going on? The fast still has four more hours. Huh. So much for leadership. I guess you fail. Anya, Anya, Anya. You still raise tons of money. I heard Craig say you did a good job and the poor will still sing songs about you. This isn't a joke. All I did was try and I wanted to accomplish something and to feel good for a change. I didn't know you felt bad. Well, I do. All the time, and it's because of you. You can't stand to see me happy. Why do you hate me so much? I don't. You're my best friend. Then why do you treat me like dirt? Because you let me. New day, new week, new Holly J. Leave me alone. Okay, we've had fights before, but we always make up. Hey, look, I'll even help you clean up the mess. Stop helping, Holly. It's Holly J. You only make messes of lives, and yesterday is the last time I'll ever let you make a mess of mine. <laughs> okay, are you off your meds? You're hysterical. In comments like that is why we're not friends anymore. Anya, come on. Okay, without you, I have no friends. You know that. You did this to yourself. Get over yourself. Throw fast, throw hard. Come on, Scratchy, one more yard. And that's the new chip. <laughs> nice cover, but we all know what you were doing when you missed school. Day Quill and Days of Our Lives? Sav. But you mean you guys didn't have sex? We're waiting. I haven't even met his parents yet. Maybe a regular high school, but brand new T-bombs girl Mia Jones is anything but a regular student. <laughs> your teammates must be so proud of you. They're great. <laughs> Hey. Hey, have you done a Mia interview yet? I don't have time for trash TV. Oh, but it's so cool that our Mia is this big model. Guess what? She's still definitely coming to Florida. Oh, yeah? Turns out I can't go. You're missing Cheerburst? Why? It's my family. 
family wedding. Uh, Completely forgot it's the same weekend. LDJ isn't coming to Florida. But you're the captain. You have to lead the team. To limp through without me, I guess. Please stand up and holler. Um. Okay, team. Big news. I'm coming to the cheer burst after all. I decided that this team is more important than my cousin's wedding. Sorry, only team players on this trip. <laughs> no one's more dedicated to this team than me. You're so dedicated, you'll sell out one of your teammates on national TV? Hey, all I did was say what I heard. You have no idea what happened. I made a mistake, and my teammates understand that. And what you said was mean and hurtful. And your teammates don't understand that. All in favor of voting Holly J off the power squad. Diapers are expensive. That's true. Nice, guys. I hate her. I hate Holly J. Join the club. We used to be best friends until she burned me one too many times. We need to do something to her. Fight back. Believe me, I've tried. She's like a cockroach. She'll survive anything. So I'm just supposed to grin and bear it? I can't do that. I won't do that. You know, I hate Holly J. <laughs> you could say that again. <laughs> I hate Holly J too. <laughs> Show up for a shift today. Sab said you'd be here. Your dad let you out. Yeah? I have to go to Holly J's house and apologize. What are you gonna say? I can't do it. I'll choke on an apology. She did this all on purpose. You think Holly J is pretending to be upset to get you in trouble? Holly J is ruining my life. Holly J needs to hear you say all this. Anya. I didn't think you'd come after. When I saw your name on that group, I couldn't believe it. <sighs> your mom told me you didn't want any visitors, but I convinced her. Um. I think you guys need to talk. What are you doing here? Get out. Now. What are you trying to do to me? Suspension and now the cops? Why would I call the cops? Because you hate me and you want to ruin my life? Well, mission accomplished. I wanted to ruin your life, I'd create an I Hate Alley group. Get 400 people to join and talk about how much they... how much they hate you and that they want you dead. You just made me so mad and everyone said there was nothing I could do. I just wanted you to stop. You got your wish. Because I'm not coming back to Degrassi. Ever. Just leave. Uh, Holly J, I'm so sorry for everything. I hope you're not leaving. I convinced her to give Degrassi another chance. We need her here. I got kicked off face range. The group is gone. So it should be kind of back to normal around here. Hey, Allie. I uh, brought some rope. Yeah, back to normal. Come on. All right, 
right, see you there. Don't forget to wear your beach clothes. We heard you're taking requests. Okay, because we have a request. We were wondering if athletes could cut the calf line so we can make it to practice at lunchtime. We're on the junior basketball team. We're athletes. I'll add it to the list. I'm a walking suggestion box, and the idea that any random niner can come hassle me, so not my style. You're never gonna be happy. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone used to hate you. Now you've got blue, you're super popular. Where's the problem? Carmen Lennon, Capretta Porte line arrives at H&M today. Our one chance to get couture clothes at hobo prices. We have to reschedule. Anya and Sav had a massive blowout. Then it must be Thursday. Your relationship has stagnated, so you find minutia to fight over. Holy J. Good news is, it's only a matter of time before Sav shows up with some unoriginal, spontaneous gesture. <laughs> I'd love to watch it cheer. It's been that way for a half a year. It's like we belong. Magical, love conquers all. Now, can we please conquer them all? Let's go for ice cream. But what about the sale? I've, I've been saving up for our girl shop for weeks. You can tag along, though it is two for one cones, so. Forget it. I'll fight off fashionistas by myself. Me to watch a soccer game. You want to hang out while I wait for him to call? Or you could go find your own soccer game. Don't you have any non sav interests? Um, do you mind? Like, Anya, Jane's right. You need to get a life, one that doesn't involve waiting around for your boyfriend to call. Some friend you are. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Still. What are you talking about? Uh, rumor has it that you and Declan Coyne are the thing. <laughs> Not that it's a big deal or anything. It's a huge deal. He's the hottest guy in school, and you're... You... There better be a good end to that sentence, Anya. Attention, women leaders of the future. The Business Mentorship Award finalists are... Sasha. Amy. Holly J. And Emily, good luck with your interviews, guys. A mentorship on top of your job and business and being president. How are you going to have time to date? Behind every powerful woman is a man who better be cool with it. Voila. Oh, yeah. Great job, Anya. That'll keep those pesky formal guests out. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm OK. Have you two heard about this? My sources tell me that Peter's taking some farmer girl as his date for the formal. Sources? Fine, Danny. Check your sources. It's not a real date. Anya with the insider info. Go on. Far as the girl says, kind of, sort of, not really arranged to be married to. It, he can't go unless she comes too, so we ponder off on Peter. That's why you're so spaced out. No, it's no big deal. So his parents think that she's his date? No, but I'm his real date. Well, will his boot in your match your corsage or hers? Uh, I don't know. So you're letting him have his cake and eat it too? There's no cake. <laughs> oh, there's cake, all right. Look. Sav and I love each other. Far being here isn't going to change anything. <sighs> well, that's just great. Texting and tidying. A lethal combination. Sorry. Sav's supposed to meet me here. We'll be okay. 
The Niners got most of the trash last night. It's not the point. What's going on? I did something very stupid last night. Other than the Macarena? I had sex with Sav in the limo. It's cliche, but not the end of the world. We didn't use protection. What? Anya, there's a condom machine in the bathroom. What if I'm pregnant? Hun, you have options. The morning after pill? Right. Because instead of spending the morning after with me, he's at a family brunch with his future wife. Sounds like you two have a big talk coming. Oh, sure, I'll just go waltz right over to his house. You know, his parents don't even know we're still together. If Sav has grown up enough to have sex, he's grown up enough to tell his parents he has a girlfriend. Welcome back. Not now, Anya. I'm sorry. I'm stressed. Stupid Sav. Tell me about it. When he broke up with me, it was a blessing in disguise. Yale's not going to accept a presidential runner-up. If I lose, I'm a loser. I'll never be with Declan and my life is over. And who will look out for the best interest of the students? Right, that too. So how can I help take Sav down? Still haven't forgiven him for dumping you on prom night? Minutes after we exchanged virginities. <laughs> Imagine if I had gotten pregnant, I would have spent senior year out here. Plus, Sav would have been a major pariah for getting a girl knocked up. Yeah. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Cool. Thanks, Anya. Have you talked to Sav yet today? Nope. Why would I? Excellent. Okay. This is going to sound crazy, but I need a favor. It's actually kind of the biggest favor anyone will ever ask. Ever. When Sav talks to you, can you, like, pretend that you're pregnant with this baby? What? Only until elections are over. Oh, that makes it much more reasonable. Look, you wanted revenge. This is it. The school will never elect a baby daddy as its president. You broke your heart, Anya. Only till elections are over? Then you're baby free. Why do I suddenly crave pickles and ice cream? Maybe Daddy Bandari can pick some up. <laughs> Looks like you have company. You gonna be okay? Well, if you need me, you know where I am. And take it easy on the Dom. <sighs> okay, bye. got your text. If you're bailing on the lie, you better be here to get your marker on. Good news. I'm going to keep being pregnant. See you, posters. It's not even the best part. Sav and I are getting back together. Oh. You know you're going to have to tell him the truth, right? After elections? Not right after. Just need enough time for us to fall back in love. And then? I'll fake a miscarriage. Wow. Anya, that's a smidge dark. Well, what other way out do I have? I either fake a miscarriage or I fake a baby to term, and who would adopt a fake baby? Touche. It's a win-win for both of us. Whatever it takes, right? <laughs> HJ, how's the campaign coming along? What are you doing? You know you won't be able to handle it for some very specific reasons. Well? When you have a strong support system, you can do anything. See about that. You have to tell everyone the truth. Stop scoring the sympathy vote. Can you believe it? <laughs> Benedict Arnold, you switched sides. If you don't come clean, I will. And then I'll tell everyone it was your idea and Sab knew nothing about it. You wouldn't dare. I need to protect my family. You don't have a family. If anybody finds that out, you'll be in big trouble. Well, this is all your fault. Sab didn't win the election because people think I'm pregnant. He won because you think you're better than everyone. That's not true. Do people like me? Why didn't they vote for you? Uh, my feeble wrist. 
was looking for you. Oh. Hey, weirdos. What are you like playing statues? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I need my history notes back. Oh, they're in my locker. Um, I can bring them to class. Okay. Okay, well, um, we have a bucket of change to count. Uh, you're welcome to stay and help out if you like. Oh, that's okay. I don't really like touching coins, so... No, Anya might freak if she ever found out about us. Yeah, she can't now. Well, nor can Fiona. Keeping this a secret so, might be. Blow me away. Hmm, right. tardy Ms. McPherson. I've already assigned the groups. So why don't you uh, join uh, Sav and Holly J on this one? Okay. Sure. <sighs> Ex-boyfriend, ex-best friend. Could this day get any worse? At least you're not stuck with Heather Kumat. She smells like salami. So, should we tell her together? And make working on this project with your ex-girlfriend a total nightmare? Poker face. Hey, Anya. So, uh, what are we doing? Well, I was thinking we could do a miniature of Pompeii, and we can have Mount Vesuvius erupt and destroy it. Can't we just do a PowerPoint? Uh, no. This project is worth 30% of our grade, and I need full marks, so... First meeting today at lunch? Ooh, uh, I can't. My mom's feeling under the weather, and I have to bring her soup. It's off to a great start. Look at my cute little lava victim. Aw, oh, it's almost a shame to annihilate him. <laughs> it's a good thing you joined us, because Pompeii was not built in a day or by two people. <laughs> hey, Mom. Well, can you tell me now? Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. Um, do you guys mind if I finish working on this at home? Not at all. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Be, uh, be good while I'm gone, you two. It's a mouthful. Ready? Um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Is that, like, cancer? Yeah. It's weird, though. I mean, she doesn't look sick. My aunt had cancer. She didn't look sick either until she went through the chemo and lost all her hair. And how is she now? She got much better after the chemo, uh, but then she died, like, recently. Anya, it's time to finish Pompeii. Do you have the pieces? What, am I interrupting? No, uh, we were just talking and stuff. Um, I gotta go, guys. Bye. Is everything okay? Um, I didn't, I didn't make this stupid village. None of it? The houses, the trees. Wow. Um, I, I'm sorry. I will, uh, I'll come help. You know what? Um, uh, I'll handle it. It's okay. Okay. Sav, I think Anya knows. This is a disaster. We're gonna fail. Is there anything you have to say for yourself? No. I'm sorry, I just can't believe that you would jeopardize our grades over something so stupid. Excuse me? Come on, Anya, don't you think you're overreacting? Just overreacting. <gasps> Get me out of here. <sighs> Leave me alone. Anya, I know we're not supposed to be together, but I didn't think you'd screw up our term. What are you talking about? You ruined the project because Sav and I are together. My mom has cancer. And I can't even look at her without thinking about her dying. Oh, I'm a horrible daughter. 
You're not a horrible daughter. Then why am I here and not at the doctor's appointment? A horrible daughter would not bring your mom's soup the way that you do. You know, soup's not gonna cure cancer all day today. But you might regret it later if you're not there for her now. Or three. Hi. Uh, a dozen yellow. Who's the lucky guy? My mom. Today's the big day we find out if her radiation worked. Ooh, best friend special. If you need me, I'll call. But um, I'm really hoping that I don't. Yeah. Cinnamon heart? I don't deserve it. My mom's cancer free, and all I can think about is no more visits to the hospital. There's this boy that works there. Volunteer? Uh, more like a training program. Med school? What comes after that? Anya, he's a doctor. You can't date a doctor. He's only first year resident. I know, I know. I just can't stop thinking about him. You focus on his annoying habits. Like the cute way he bites his pen? You have him on a pedestal. If you spent time with him, you'd realize he's just a regular Joe. Who leaves his seat up and spends hours on PlayStation? Exactly. So what you're saying is I need to spend more time with him. Anya. Uh, come on, I've had a pretty sucky year. Don't I deserve one perfect date? Okay, so how are you going to get it? Well, me and my best friend, who happens to be dating my ex, will bump into him. He'll be at Pizza Leslie at 7. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I have a reservation for two. Okay, um, there is the hostess, Dan. Does he look so old and and cute? Are you gonna go talk to him? No, look too desperate. So you're gonna fake choking? What? I faked a pregnancy for you. Fine, pass me those olives. Anya, what's wrong? Uh, uh, my friend, she's choking. Okay, do you need help? Okay, this might hurt a little. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Can I get you some water? Thanks, I'm fine. Uh, gotta watch it with the olives. Uh, major choking hazard. And then that's what I'm always telling her. Um, so can we buy you a thank you dessert? I'd love to, uh, but uh, I'm actually meeting someone. It was great seeing you, Anya. Maybe she's a sister. Yeah, maybe their family's really close. That woman did not seem like his type. What's that, 5'5", five, five, brownish hair, way too young for him? I know you think I'm crazy, but every time I'm around him, I want to puke in a good way you need to forget about him no i i went out last night to get a date and i never even tried so here goes uh, oh god okay i can't <laughs> <laughs> It's him. It, if I let it go through, it'll go to voicemail, and, and he'll know I called. And answer it. Dr. Chris. Hi. Um, I was just calling to say thanks for helping out my friend yesterday. Am I free for dinner? Um, but what about... Oh, she's just a friend. Okay, well, my, um, my college seminar at college is over at 5. Um, maybe we can meet up afterwards. I, I know this great little spot called Little Mistakes. Okay. See you then. <laughs> what would a college student wear on her first date? <sighs> I like quite nicely. 
Uh, do you have time for dessert? She doesn't. I don't? Oh, uh, I don't. She's right. Curfew. Curfew. Self-imposed. Anya's a very conscientious student. Guilty as charged. Well, as long as you're not blowing me off. No, not in a million years. <laughs> well, I'll drive you home. Your dorm must be close by. You need to pay at the counter. <laughs> Where's my dorm? Actually, there's this um, mole that I wanted you to examine. It's right here. I don't feel anything unusual. Mm. Are you trying to seduce me, Miss McPherson? Is it working? Call you tomorrow. You better. pros and cons list. No, don't laugh. I don't know what to do. Leave it to Holly J to use a list to make a life decision. Show me. Okay, pros. Sweet, smart, supportive, funny-ish, and big, wait for it, hearted. <laughs> and there's only one con, not feeling it. Do you mean the L word? Lesbian? Why? I'm pretty sure Fiona meant love, weirdo. Holly J has mentioned Ida since I came out recently. I'm gay. Really? Cool. So, do you love Sav or not? Everything else is perfect. I mean, do all these pros outweigh that one puny con? It's the most important one, Zilly. Do you and Sav even have fun anymore? Yeah, yeah, we hang out. We play boggle. Okay, not really, but it's me. I mean, ever since I got sick, I've been half a girlfriend. Look at me. You're perfect. There's no reason for us to break up because everything is fine. On paper. No reason to leave. It's never a good reason to stay. How'd the breakup go? I tried, and I failed miserably. Really? Sab's the easiest guy to break up with. I've done it like six times. <laughs> There's always an out. What, the pending arranged marriage? They could catch you making out in his living room. Once they find out you're his girlfriend, it's over. It's not really my style. No offense, but your style doesn't seem to be working very well. Trust me, Sab will never stand up for you. I can never do that to him, though. You did the right thing. And why do I feel like a schmuck? I should have just been honest. Okay, so you did the right thing the wrong way. And now's your chance to explain yourself. <sighs> Sab, I'm, I'm really sorry. You must be angry. So, it turns out my parents love you. They call you Yale girl. They do? Yeah, I stood up for you, Holly J, and they listened. For real. That's great. But my parents encouraged me to keep dating you. My parents, Holly J, want me to date someone who is not far. <laughs> Do you believe that? No, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> you know, you're so smart. You could tell this is what I need, a, a push. I haven't been honest. I told your mom because I thought she'd force you to break up with me. Why would you do that? You want to break up? What's wrong? Nothing. And... That's the thing. It's just not there between us. Like, we always talked about an expiry date. It, it feels like it's now. And you decided this by yourself? You didn't want to talk about it? I guess this is the talk. <laughs> Breakups suck. So brutal, but good for Holly J. You're in love with Holly J, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm in love with Holly J. I know that look. I've seen it a thousand times. Well, you're wrong, okay? Drop it. Oh, my God, Fiona. Hey, you don't know anything. So... Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. It's just... I know what it's like to love somebody that you can't be with. So if you ever want to talk...
Well, I don't. Just promise to keep it to yourself. Yeah, promise. Sounds like a good time to tell Holly J that you love her. Told you to forget it. <sighs> okay, fine. I hate it. But I'm kind of slowly getting over it. If Holly J ever found out, it would ruin our friendship, so I wish you wouldn't bring it up. Bring what up? Um, uh, so my dry feet problem. Ew. Flowers, what's the occasion? I, I'm, I'm newly single. The weight of the world is lifted off my shoulders. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and there's something important I want to ask you, too. Would you both be my dates to the spring semi-formal? Wait, we don't all have to match, do we? No. Then sign me up. Hell, no risk of pregnancy. I'm in. And to make it official. I said, shake, 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 shake with me. Yeah, I like that. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just ticklish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you notice Fiona acting weird? Um, no. Why? I don't know, just a vibe. I want to make sure she's okay, you know, post rehab. Are you still down for dress shopping later? 69 Vintage is having a sale. Excellent. And then we can hit up Yorkville for Fiona's more affluent tastes, followed by getting ready at her place, and then a post-dance sleepover. I I'm not sure a sleepover is such a good idea. What? Why not? Oh, we shouldn't crowd our condo. Are you kidding? It's a palace. You get the ultimate comfy couch, and I'll sleep with Fee. You see, that's bad. Okay, please. I have no problem sharing a bed with my lesbian best friend. I have gay friends, Holly J. In fact, I think you're my only non-gay friend. Well, then what is it? Spill. Um, Fiona's in love with you. Shut up. So you have to stop leading her on with the, the flowers and the sleepovers. Oh, okay. In court, for her Bobby trial, after she won, she kissed me. Like, I mean, she really kissed me. Oh my God, this makes so much sense. The Declan jealousy, the cleanest. Okay, but you can't say anything. She would die if you knew. And then she would kill me. Of course. And the only reason that I told you is so that you don't make things awkward for her. I would never. You can trust me. I'm just, I'm really glad you told me. <sighs> Anya, can you zip me up? Oh, here, I'll do it. Oh, it's okay, you're busy. I am? Yeah. Who is it? It's a text from my mom. She needs help with something. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep over tonight. <sighs> Boo, I got bagels and locks for brunch. Well, Anya's here. She can eat a ton of locks. Your loss. I'm gonna go shower. You need to help your mom with something? Really? You're doing a terrible job of not being awkward. Am I? I'm just trying not to do the wrong thing. Yeah, so stop spazzing out. Here's the problem. Fiona doesn't know any lesbians. I'm just a default love. A default love? Mm-hmm. Do you think Fies into blondes or brunettes? Redheads. Oh, she's cute. Treasure of the LGBT committee. You should meet her. I'm okay. <laughs> Vivia. This is Fiona. Hey. Hi. Feels so good to shed the uniform. Oh yeah. Doesn't Fiona look amazing? Totally. Fiona, Divya thinks you look amazing. Do you think she's cute? I guess. Well, then go dance with her. <laughs> Somebody took my magazine. There has to be something. Vampire theme? That would actually be not bad. That's like cliche, cliche, though. So you would though. think that's cliche. It's been every party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've got it. Alice in Wonderland. We could do exotic teas and miniature cakes. 
I don't know, for my 18th birthday, I was picturing something a little less juvenile. <laughs> Have you seen the Tim Burton version? Go! Oh, I got it! Don't say it. Paris. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> it's classic! You really want to relive what you and Sav went through last year? Oh, that's in the past, Holly J. And in a few months, I will be off at Toronto U dating Dr. Chris. Should I add one more to the guest list? Why don't we ask him? Dr. Christopoulos. Uh, hello? Uh, hi, it's Anya. <laughs> I've been meaning to call you. He's been meaning to call me. Am I on speakerphone? Uh, no, sorry, must have just had a bad connection. Anywho, um, my, uh, birthday is in two days, and I was just calling to remind you that I'm having a little party with a very classic theme. Oh. Okay. He can't make it. I'm so sorry. So he asked me out tomorrow night. He can't even wait until my birthday. <laughs> so, date wardrobe advice, please. This one, look at me, I'm 18, or this one, look at me, I'm 18. <laughs> oh, yeah. Girl, you haven't updated your status. University acceptances started arriving yesterday and everyone's posting their status online. Well, I'm sure my acceptance is on its way, but right now I have more immediate worries, like what I'm gonna wear on my date tonight. <laughs> you coming to class? Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, so my mom thinks that I'm spending the night here and if she calls... You're in the bathroom. And uh, text my phone and I will call her back. I hate to be a cold shower here, but don't you think it's a little soon for sleepovers? He's 26, Holly J. But you haven't seen each other in a while. Things could be different. Okay, you're really not helping with butterflies. Why is it so hard for everybody to believe that Dr. Chris could be interested in a girl like me? It's not. Lots of girls I knew in New York dated way outside their league. But there's no need to rush things. If this doesn't work, there are other guys. It's okay, Holly J. I'm an adult now, and I can take care of myself. Hey. Birthday blues? Well, you can cancel my party because he ended it. Was it the age thing? Please tell me you didn't meet someone else. No, he's going to Africa. He wants to save the world. That bastard. <sighs> Sorry, I tried. How could I have been so stupid? You're not. If he was staying put, could have worked. Yeah, he did say he wanted to take me with him. <laughs> See? And here isn't so long. A flyby. Your final few months of high school, summer, your first semester at university. And then he'll be back and we can try again. Okay, girls' night at fees, movies, and Mushu. I've got student council, but if you need me. I'll find you. Promise. <laughs> Fiona? Holly J? Guys, I thought we were having a girl's night. <laughs> what is this? Couldn't let your 18th go uncelebrated, but we decided against the Parisian theme. I hope you're not mad. Uh, me? Mad? No. Good, because there's this guy from TU I really want you to meet. I already checked. He hates to travel. Shall I introduce? Uh, sure. Just let me freshen up. So, were your parents ecstatic? Parents? Yeah, they must have been proud of you. University. Right, being totally accepted. Proud as peacocks. Ew, 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 ew. Have you seen this? Owen's status? Owen? Asking me about my one night stand at Fiona's party? Ew, he's so disgusting. I'm gonna have to fumigate. Ugh, who in their right mind would... I can't even say it with Owen. The most sexist, homophobic swine in the school. In my house. Ew, in my bed. I'm ordering a new mattress. Who would go near him? Right, he's so yucky. So, 
Um, where, where, where are we going for lunch today? As if we're done talking about this, <laughs> who could it have been? Well, clearly someone with the world's lowest self-esteem. Right, so someone desperate and self-hating. Who is there? Annabella? this prom party planning party started. <laughs> you don't know yet? Know what? You got hacked. Someone posted on Owen's wall from your account. Yeah, who would do something like this? Owen seems like the prime suspect. Owen, is he smart enough? Whatever, he's gross. He's not gross. He's trying to make everyone think you had sex with him on ya. He's not a hacker either. Wait, did you post this? The message was supposed to be private. Yeah, but why would you post that you and Owen had... You did? Oh, my God. I only applied it to you, and that was to be closer to Dr. Chris. And then they didn't accept me, and he rejected me. And I slept with Owen. So I guess I'm one of those girls with no self-respect, right? How am I supposed to finish this and write an admissions essay? I guess this means you're bailing on playing for my volleyball team later. Sorry, I'm exhausted. Oh, but you look so good in a bikini. Why so tired anyway? Okay, promise you won't judge me, Holly J? Me? Ever. Is that not what the J stands for? It stands for Jeanette. I promise. What's up? Okay, you might want to sit down. Um, last night I tried cocaine. Anya? I mean, Anya, why? Um, some of Owen's friends were doing it and I was having a really bad night. Clearly. I, I promise I won't do it again. Good. Because in a few months, we're going to be on to bigger and better things. Don't let some great 11 with blue eyes and too much gel drag you down. Stop blaming Owen for everything. He didn't make me do it. Fine. Just, just focus on your essay. Considering you missed the deadlines, your chances here are kind of slim to none. Well, thank you for the vote of confidence. I would be an ideal candidate for your university because... Attention. Ask me what it's like. No, 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 not listening. Okay, hey, I've got applications and I, I gotta focus, okay? You made it. Guess who scored an interview with Hassley, you? Anya, that is awesome. You brought company? Two teams, 20 bucks a piece. What's that, like 40 bucks? There are more teams registered, they're on their way. What he meant to say is that he called some of his hockey friends to come play and that they will be here soon. Thank you, Owen. Let's talk about my future as a university girl. Do you think I could get into a sorority? So, when you get into HU, are you gonna stay in residence, get your own place? I think residence will be better. Meet new people, make friends. By friends, you mean cute college guys? No, I, I actually mean friends. Seriously, you're not gonna stay with Owen, are you? I don't know. I'll be there, he'll be here. Oh, you're finally getting back on track. Okay, girls like us don't need guys like that lingering around. Besides, you're better than him. Ah! Oh! Oops. I'm soaked. Owen! Sorry, babe, defective squeeze bottle. Uh, are you all right? I'm fine, it's just a little water. Tipping point? Any good? I like it, yeah. Were you out again last night? Um, no. I was prepping for my interview. Good, those things can be killer. My Yale interview was by far the hardest 45 minutes of my life. I perspired. You mean you don't, you don't just show up and go, here I am, checked out your website, love your school? Not at all. <laughs> okay. Since you've read every university prep book in existence, 
Would you mind coaching me? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to your interview, Anya. Thank you. Can I get you a coffee or a tea? Don't ask if they want anything. I'm being polite. You'll be in their office, not a cafe. J sit. Okay. okay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Jeez, I don't know. Um, I wanted to be a vet, but those programs are um, impossible to get into with my GPA. I gave up that dream. So, happy? Maybe you need a card to play. Schools look for all kinds of diversity. I'm talking about my dyslexia. It's really good. And how I helped my mom through cancer. It's amazing, Anya. So do you see yourself as more of a leader or a follower? Follower, but I'm trying to lead more in my own life, do my own thing, you know? It's important to have a path. Okay, what do you want to get out of your degree? I would like to help people and make the world a better place. You gotta think university, not Miss Universe pageant. Be specific. I love being hands-on. And I like working with people. Okay, well, you're applying for a minor in English. But what's your favorite book? A book. Any book. Do magazines count? Find two numbers that you add together to get B and multiply together to get C, then it's factorable. Get it? <sighs> Hassle, you should have gotten back to me by now. They said they'd let me know by the end of the day. Well, it's not the end of the day yet. Well, what if I wrote the wrong number down or uh, they called the home line and the message got erased? Anya, relax. You said it went well. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Okay, well, if they haven't called me by tonight, I will stop by his office in the morning. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, it shows initiative. I need this. It's my last hope of having a bright future. Like yourself. Anya, you're going to have a bright future as long as you stay on track, like now. Is this factorable or not? Is only a few days away. Yeah, right after we graduate. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, most of us graduate. It's okay, I've made my peace. I'm just excited to spend prom night with the two most gorgeous girls at Degrassi. Now, if we can only find you an equally gorgeous pair of shoes. Oh my god, Charlie. Is that a shoe store? No, my ex over there. Where? Where? Over there. Don't draw attention. <laughs> Fiona! Damn. That was you. How are you? Great. I'm doing my first art show tomorrow. Um, I gotta get back to work, but I'd love it if you guys came. Yeah, sure. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So, she seems to be over any awkwardness. Yeah, she does. You're not actually thinking of going, are you? No, of course not. Charlie and I are complicated. <laughs> okay, so the limo is gonna cost us 40 bucks each, but 50 if we go for the stretch SUV. What do you think? Fiona, SUV limo, tacky or classy? Charlie seemed like she was doing well yesterday, right? You're not having second thoughts about going to her art show. No, I'm just happy she's happy. Ladies, do we have room for one more in the limo? Another lady going stagette? Uh, no, a guy. Actually, Riley asked me to go with him. <sighs> okay, fine. At least Holly J and I will have each other. Fiona, I'm so sorry. Sav asked me to be his date last night as co-presidents. And you said yes? Well, I thought you'd have Anya. Great, so I'm the odd one out. Maybe we can find you your own date. Where? Lesbianpromdate.com? Or you can go alone. As long as we're all together, what does it matter? Everyone? She's heading to Yale next year. Holly J. Sinclair. teachers, and fellow graduates. Over the past four years, we have had highs and lows. But no matter what, we've gotten through with the help of our friends. When we leave Degrassi, each one of us is going to be all alone, facing the unknown. And I have to admit, I'm scared. In two days, I'm getting a kidney transplant. And even though I know it could save my life, I still worry about the outcome. As we all go our separate ways, whether it's kidney surgery or moving away to university or going to the army, <laughs> I know that no matter how difficult the journey, our time together has only made us stronger. 
So as we bravely face the unknown, we will take with us four years of memories and friendships that will last a lifetime. Congratulations, class of 2011, and good luck. Smoothie isn't gonna make everything all better. And frankly, I'm tired of fixing everyone else's problems. So now it's your turn. Girls, come in. Happy prom. You do know it's two days away, right? I planned us a pre-prom. Vienna booked us the best hair and makeup team in the city. I already cleared it with your mom, who okayed it with your doctors. And uh, our limo awaits. Look, prom isn't just about eating dry chicken and dancing to living on a prayer. It's about best friends and celebrating everything you've been through together one last time. So, what do you say, Holly J? Will you come with us to pre-prom? Love to. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? On our own Degrassi Walk of Fame? Well, I still have another year before I earn my prince. You guys go ahead. Hey, McPherson. In or out? <sighs> what if I go to the army and I can't hack it? It's all I got left. I'm afraid, too. I'm suddenly going to be this little fish in this big university pond. I'm really afraid I'm not going to make the same kind of friends at Yale that I did at Degrassi. I've been too scared to tell my best friend that last night I drank for the first time in months. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you to be disappointed in me. I feel like I just keep disappointing everyone. I even set Charlie's cat free last night. You set Mr. Tuxedo Pants free? It's not funny. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little bit funny. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm really trying, Holly J. I'm ready to move on. Are you sure? Yeah. Army, here I come. Take me down One, two, three. to the water, fill you up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. Well, we're not done yet. That's Initials. my man, that's my brother, Sean O'Reilly. Grassy will never forget us. Shine a light. Hey. 
<laughs> As the hospital's most beautiful patient. Great. Prom seating chart? You guys came here to ask me for prom help? No, oh, we came to you. How'd the surgery go? Uh, well, we're still waiting to make sure my body doesn't reject the kidney, but so far, so good. And the doctor said the procedure was flawless. As with everything you do. <laughs> so, um... Okay, what prom help do you need? Sorry, you just seem to be the only one who knows how to do this stuff. I have one name left, Heather Poulette, and all the senior tables are full. Uh. Mm. You can put Heather with the swim club girls and move Zane to our table. But Riley would hate that. Fine, but they're serving onions with dinner. And Heather Poulette's breath. All right, Riley can suck it up. He's gonna have to talk to Zane sometime, right? Sav? Um... Are there any private corners or adjacent rooms or loggable closets at the prom venue? Simpson barely let us have the prom off campus, remember? Secret rooms equals secret trouble. Why? No, I was just wondering. You know, heaven forbid a student tries to sneak off to make out. Sav, you are so weird sometimes. I can't believe we both dated you. What? No. I'm, I'm charming. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, I have a surprise for us. Hey. Holy hey. J. Happy prom, everybody. Happy prom. How's the new kidney feeling, Holly J? It's great. I wish I could be there. Well, everything's beautiful. All thanks to you. Here. Uh, guys, the banner's crooked. Oh. Uh, just kidding. Everything's perfect. Oh, crap. No, it isn't. I forgot the king and queen crowns. I'll go get them. Sorry, Holly J. It's all right. I'll live. Holly J, did you get the flowers I sent over? I did. Here, I'll 